if I start an UiPath process on the orchestrator, this will communicate directly to Microsoft Teams and tell me exactly where the process is finished, on what robot, um, one machine, and I can see also the result of the process. In my case, that was the result of the process. Hello, everyone. My name is Christian Nicolescu. You know me for a lot of integration with UiPath. We have the Salesforce connector, ServiceNow connector, Jira connector, and we have a lot of integration where I call different processes. I did something with the Microsoft Teams some weeks ago about how you start from Microsoft Teams, how you start an, uh, a new UiPath robot. Today, we'll talk about how we how the UiPath orchestrator can communicate with Microsoft Teams very fast via webhooks. If you remember on the on some re latest release of UiPath, you we have the webhooks inside of the orchestrator. Yeah? So if you go and search for UiPath to webhooks, you will see here and uh, um, details. Yeah, you will see a detail how the um, the orchestrator can send. Um, detail about when a job is created, finished, and so on uh, to, an, uh, to an address, to an webhook. So let's see how we uh, we can do this. So basically, I will go to the orchestrator. I will use, as usual, the orchestrator on cloud. Yeah, I go to the tenants. I will go to webhooks. And on the webhook, I will see here add. Yeah, And he asked me for a new URL. Oops, so I need to get this URL. And then, for example, with us, we'll talk about jobs. You can select here if you want uh, the jobs task queue. You have a lot of um, combination inside of the orchestrator. Or you can say all, yeah? In my case, I will talk only about jobs, yeah? We'll see how when a job is completed, when a job is fault, and so on, yeah? But I have to provide this uh, URL, yeah? So how I do this stuff? So what I will do, I will go to Power Automate, yeah? Here I already have a workflow, but I will create a new one for you to understand. So we'll say to this workflow that it's already working. We'll say uh, turn off and we'll turn on uh, later. And I will say, I go to my workflows, uh, to flows, and I will say new. I will say uh, instant. And here I will say what will trigger. And the trigger will say HTTP. Yeah. So we will say that uh, the trigger is when an uh, oh, wait a minute on the http when an http request is received yeah so let's say uh test from orchestrator orchestrator try tor okay uh, and i say when an http request is received yeah so when when power automate will receive an http request yeah We'll do something. We'll write something on the new step. Let's add the new step, and the new step will be um, Teams. Remember that we used uh, last time Microsoft Teams. So on the Teams, we have a post a message. Okay. So here will um, this. Uh, uh, if you watch my old video with uh, Microsoft team, you will see the, all the configuration. So basically, uh, he will read from my uh, team uh, member, he will read uh, my group, and he will read uh, the channel. For more details, you watch the other video. And you say, uh, I receive I re see, see something from orchestrator, yeah? Uh, from orchestrator, and we'll do also a value, yeah? Now, here. Uh, remember that we don't provide the URL to the orchestrator because my Power Automate will generate this URL. But uh, this will send, so the uh, the system will send will send the request to Power Automate, and we need to provide in Power Automate the format. So I will go to UiPath uh, documentation, and I will extract from the documentation. I want job complete. Yeah. So job started, uh, uh, fault, and example for job complete, yeah? So I will copy paste this one. I think I copy this one. And I will paste it on Power Automate here. Use an example play, payload. Done. OK, so basically, the Power Automate, yeah, 
this is included. It's um, uh, so the power of domain learns from my uh, for from my example to understand exactly what type of object he will receive. Yeah. So here I will say uh, I will hit enter and I will say uh, type. Let's say type because I want to uh, to see the type of the. Uh, let me show you here. I, I make it bigger for you to to understand. Uh, I will say uh, state state of the job. Yeah. Let's display the machine name. Yeah, let's display the machine name. Machine name and uh, the robot name. Yeah. Uh, robot, uh, I think is just name. Yeah, just name. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one time. Uh, let's put here and enter. So, uh, you see, I, I still don't have the URL. So I tell the Power Automate that, look, you will receive, uh, this will start when something will be received on the HTTP request, yeah? I provide him a JSON, an example. I tell him, look, do an, uh, uh, you can do an, um, an, uh, a post on the Microsoft Teams, and then I have to go and hit save. And when I hit save, the Power Automate will provide me the address, the address, this address I will use for the webhook. So I will say copy URL. I will go back to orchestrator and I will provide here the address. Uh, sorry, my bad. Copy. And I provide him control. This is the, the address. You understand the idea? So I create an event on, um, on, uh, on Power Automate. I provide him the JSON and then he will provide me an address. Yeah, good. So I have this, uh, um, this on my, on my PC. Yeah. Now I will go on the, uh, on the, on the orchestrator and on the orchestrator, what I will do, I will start the job. Yeah. Power Automate, you see the flow is ready to go. We recommend it just to test it. This is my power automate, and you see the test from the beginning. Now we create this boat. Remember that the old flow from the Microsoft um, from Power Automate is disabled. So we'll work only on the new flow. We go on the orchestrator and we'll start the job. We'll say here on the job, and we'll say process teams exactly like on the uh, the movie with the teams. Yeah, process team. Done. And here we say start. The robot start the job. The job is already successful. And if we go to Power Automate, you will see here that you receive from orchestrator job created. First was the job created. And then we receive from orchestrator job complete status successful orchestrator. 2018 is the name of my machine and robot. Uh, to, uh, 17, it's um, robot CN2. It's my robot. It's my process. Yeah. Good. So now let's see. Let's see something complicated. Remember that I have a test and an, um, a test flow. So I will go to my flows. I will disable this flow. I will say uh, here uh, turn off. Yeah, and we will turn on the other uh, the other flow, and let's see the other flow. On the other flow, I have like this. I have the same HTTP uh, request. Yeah, he after I, I I create everything, he create this web hook, and this web hook is is, co is copy on the orchestrator. Here I have a special output. Yeah, so I define the output. For example, in my case, my job has an output uh, um, response. Yeah. If you remember my process from Power Teams, it was a simple process where I provide him three parameters and I get a response. And the response is the concatenate between these parameters, yeah? Concat of these parameters. Good. And here I put some condition. I will say if the type contains complete, so if my job is complete, then print to uh, to, um, to Microsoft Teams print the process name, the machine name, and the output result, yeah? 
If the uh, if is not, I will put another condition. If the type it's uh, it's fault, print other stuff. Yeah, we'll print other stuff to uh, to uh, to Microsoft Teams. If not, I'll put another condition and so on. Yeah. So you understand the ideas. I put multiple conditions, and let's run this one first. We activate, so we'll go back. You understand the process. We'll go back on the flows. This is uh, now activated. Yeah, it's turned on. We'll go to UiPath Orchestrator. We will say start a job. We will select our job with process uh, uh, teams. OK. Uh, we'll provide him parameters. So I will provide him a uh, value. Value one. OK. Let's say YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, and uh, live. Life okay, good. And now I can go back and say start a job. So I start this process on a robot. Okay, done. The process is finished. And if I go now to Microsoft Teams, you will see that I should have the response, and you can see the response process name uh, robot CN. On machine orchestrator, no, and the output result is value one YouTube life. So, in this way, in a very simple way, you can use the web hooks that it's provided by UiPath, so orchestrator. You can use these web hooks to inform Power Automate that the process is completed, fail, and so on, depends on what the web hook is. Huh? And Power Automate. Based on the decision, he's able to write and communicate with Microsoft Teams. So in this way, you can see a very simple way how orchestrator can communicate with Microsoft Teams and inform the, the system when something is finished and so on. So remember the big video with uh, with Microsoft Teams, how to start a new API robot for Microsoft Teams. And I hope this will be also helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching. As usual, remember to follow me on the YouTube, subscribe to my channel, and also uh, like my movies. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. And stay safe. Bye bye. Have a good one.